You're, wa you're watching the the art the artist. You're watching the artist within. To another episode of The Artist Within. I am Casey Bell, your host, and today's guest artist is an artist from Nigeria who creates the most colorful human portraits. Let's take a listen. How did you find the artist within you? Uh, yeah, it's been a while, long time. Uh, when I was young, I, these days when I was in school, um, I, I find I find it very easy to, to make sketches in my even in my sub subject books and then um, uh, in class then when we have um, drawing practicals I find it very easy to, to do that freely for my mates I, you know they bring their books to me and I draw for them and um, from there I was fortunate to see most of my grandfather's work. As um, he, he was a carver, a ceramist, and a painter. So I watched him most times uh, when he was caught. And from there, I started picking interest in art. So uh, from there, I, I, I was admitted to the art institution to study uh, fun and applied arts. So from there, I started visiting gallery, uh, galleries, and, you know, uh, artistic. Um, locations uh, around the country so and, um, other departments finance departments in other institutions so from there so i started out fully uh, immediately when i finished my uh, degree my uh, I, 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 uh, education yeah. my university education i see the artwork behind you um, what inspires you to create art where you make people's faces look colorful or like rainbows. <laughs> okay, um, the, the style, the, this painting style is called um, uh, Abefe. And um, the meaning is, that, that's my native name. And the meaning is, um, uh, please get to, to the love. And um, I decided to make this my, my personal style of painting. Um, to express myself, uh, what the colors we talk about is, uh, you see, uh, I as a painter, I believe life is the canvas, and you can express yourself uh, the way you want it. So I really want to. There are two things. Now, uh, one, I, I want to. That is my best way to express myself. I love colors, and I love colorizations. I like to see. A lot of colors come together to form something beautiful. And two, if you notice most of my paintings, they are they are all in black human, I mean black human forms, black human faces. So uh, that is a very significant uh, style for me because um, I grew up with my mom, and she has been a very uh, great role model for me. So I, whenever I paint the face of a woman, I always see. That as an image, you know, talking to me at the same time, talking to society, you know, the way she brought me up, she instructed us, trained us, you know, to become who I am today. And um, the faces, I use the faces of these this women faces, black men faces, to speak through my art, um, to, 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 to preach morals, to, you know, encourage people, to, to talk to myself as well. So, um, that is why how I came about this style of uh, painting. I'm not sure about in Nigeria, but here in America, we have artists or professionals who believe that there is a wrong way to do art, that you shouldn't paint a certain way, you shouldn't do certain things. And I believe that every artist is as unique as their fingerprints and that they should create art as they see fit. And unfortunately, many people don't because they're told their art is wrong. So what encouraged you to stay unique and to stay you as an art, as the artist you are? I think um, as an artist, 
your craft uh, represents who you are. And um, it is the, the best way you can prove to people you are an artist is to produce what comes out from inside of you. And um, you, fine, as an artist, when you see other people's work, you, you, you get inspired. Uh, some you like them, some you don't like them because you're human too. So, but you see, I, I believe my artwork will always pick for me when I'm around or when I'm gone. So there should be a trace, a trace of you in your craft. And there should be uh, uh, what people always see through your art that will speak about you. And, um, you know, people, they render, they, they, they express themselves in a lot of ways. We have abstract, we have expressionizing, we have impressionizing, we have um, apparelism, we have um, a lot of style of paintings. But I think you as an artist, it is best to know what you are good at what you are good at, what you find very easy to do. It might be portraits, it might be uh, landscape paintings, it might be drawings, fire drawings, it might be anything, it might be prints, it might be anything. So from there, then you, you pick what you, you want to do specifically and how you want to create it for people to see. So I think your art as an artist, is your identity. So it, 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 it's, it talks a lot more about how you design it, that's how people see you. And um, you can be able to communicate to people around you through your art, even without you explaining it. When they see it, then they know what you're talking about. You have your artwork in an art gallery. Can you share your process of how you made that happen? I think, um, it's uh, not really a long process. Uh, I started that um, this year. Um, uh, from the start, I, I used um, I have a style of painting called the upside down painting, uh, whereby I paint upside down and then I turn it upright. So, uh, so just to just to catch people's attention to what I do. But at the point in time, I decided to create my style. Which is the one you're seeing behind me. So um, from there, I started, you know, making uh, uh, art that speaks to people, art with meanings, with uh, you know, African meanings, uh, art that talks about beauty and the, um, the the power of black women. So uh, from there. Um, I, I do upload most of my paintings online. Yeah. I do upload them on Instagram, I upload them on Facebook, I upload them on, I have a, a, a pin, uh, I upload them with test. I have a, a site that I put my uh, artworks to, uh, you know, people get to see there. So I think purposely on Instagram, because so I've been a very active user of Instagram. Yeah. So from there, I get mails. So from you know other establishments you know, willing to uh, partner with me and gallery so from there we we'll talk with which agreements and then we we'll see how it goes from there so i just started this year and just almost the same way uh, you know through mails see my works displayed there and then through mails and then there are some reports too you know when when i post my work online some people take them and repost it so from there you know gets to uh, one or two people outside the country, and you know, that's how it happens. And what is the name of the art gallery you are featured in right now? The, the, the name of the gallery is um, Art Ford and Sons Fine Art in London. And um, the, the uh, platform that, that reached out to me is called Imagine Art Platform. So, Art Ford and Sons is a modern establishment for the margin of platform. So uh, recently my work was exhibited in the virtue of the point, remember, for a week, a week, a week a seven days of the exhibition, at the exhibition in other artists uh, gallery. And so uh, that's it. Okay. If you could have lunch and conversation with one artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Well, 
Um, that would be uh, Leonardo da Vinci, yes, because uh, back then when I was in school, uh, during the course of learning art history, I had I've seen I read more about him, about most of his path paintings. So, you know, I would love to ask him how he came about them and the the, the way he painted them, and you know, probably I can guess one or two uh, committed ways to produce paintings. And then most of the paintings are paralytic and they, they, they're powerful. So I, most times when I see them in books or online, I connect with them and I try to pick one or two things that are useful for me from them. Well, that's it for this episode of The Artist Within. We sure hope to see you again. Have a great day. Are you an artist and would like to be featured on The Artist Within? Well, go to storec.com and click on The Artist Within for more information. Thank you for watching.